Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm doing a review of a collapsible popcorn popper and this is by a company called Brenstein. Right guys, before I do a demo and show you how it works with actual popcorn, I just want to talk a little bit about the actual popper. So the first thing is it's made out of silicone and like I said, it's completely collapsible. If I just take the lid off the top, the first thing you need to do is just pop it out. So you just give it a push and that's how it looks so it's a nice little bowl the reason why it's collapsible is so it's space saving and, and like I said it comes with a lid and that's just to make sure there's no overflow of popcorn the actual silicone is PVC free and also BPA free so it's meant to be 100% safe for cooking food in some other benefits which I'm going to show you about the actual uh, popper is like I said it's BPA free FDA approved as carry handles for convenience, suction lid prevents overflow, it's dishwasher oven and microwave safe which is great, it's a big size bowl for true popcorn lovers and it's like I said it's space saving collapsible bowl for easy storage. It comes in a variety of different colours so I've got the red one but there's a multitude of different colours that you can choose from including purple, black, pink, yellow so you name it they've got it. Right guys, so next thing to do is actually show you how to make popcorn using this popper. Essentially there's three steps to making popcorn. So the first one is stand up the popper, which I've already done. The next thing to do is add your popcorn to the popper. And you should add a quarter cup of seeds. So let me just get that out. So I'm just going to pop that in. Now the third step is optional, you can add um, oil and salt. So I'm going to add a little bit of oil for flavour. So I think I'm just going to add a tablespoon. Just mix that in. Just so you can see it. Just going to give that a good mix. The recommendation is to cook the popcorn for two to three minutes. Now the exact time will depend on the power of your microwave so it'll, there will be a bit of trial and error the first few times you do it. Uh, be careful not to leave the popper too long in the microwave because otherwise you might just end up with a melted silicone popper which is not good. I'm not sure if you can see but there's a little bit of steam coming out so it's quite hot. The handles are quite cool which means it's very easy to take out of the microwave without needing a cloth or anything like that so that's really good. Okay, so I'm just going to lift the lid, so let's just do that, and there you go, perfectly made popcorn. And like I said, I will add salt, you can obviously add butter or anything else, but as, it's as simple as that. If you are interested to know the dimensions of the bowl, it's 21.1 centimeters in length, 20.6 centimeters wide, and 6.9 centimeters high. And just to put that in context, if I get a regular plate, like a dinner plate, that most of us have, it's a little bit smaller than that. So this is the actual plate, and this is the bowl, the popcorn bowl. So you can see it's a little bit smaller than that. So hopefully that gives you some idea of, act of the actual size from the top, and obviously it gets smaller at the bottom. Right guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick review. I've left a link in the description where you can get this particular popcorn popper from. So check it out if you're looking for one. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel where I've got other everyday products which I hope will be useful for you guys as well. Thanks for watching.